So in this video we're looking at deriving the equation for the period um, for a mass on a spring. So this is our goal, t equals 2 pi square root m upon k. And uh, we're going to start in a little bit of an unusual place. We're going to start with Newton's second law, a equals f over m. Put in this form. We also know that f equals the spring constant times the extension. So we'll call that ky, because in simple harmonic motion we don't use x, we use y as the displacement. And here's just the setup in case you're wondering. Mass on a spring, bouncing up and down, and yeah. Um, <clears throat> and if we're being strictly speaking correct, as we should, we've got the negative there to show that the force is a restoring force. Okay, and in uh, simple harmonic motion, we also know that A equals negative omega squared times the displacement. Uh, maximum acceleration will also be the uh, negative omega squared times A, which is the full amplitude. That's just another. So Y is, um, <coughs> y is the displacement at any m point in time. Um, so from this, if we equate this, which equals A, to this, which equals A, um, we can see that omega squared... Um, let's write that in another colour. Omega squared must be equal to a k over m. Which is, you can already start to see where we're going with this. And if you've watched the pendulum video, you know exactly where we're going next. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so next, we look at um, the um, uh, o omega is equal to 2 pi over the period, because 2 pi is one complete rotation, t is the time uh, for one complete rotation. So from this we can rearrange um, to get an expression for t, which is what we're after. t equals 2 pi over omega. And now we're going to substitute this in for our value for omega. Um, we could say that omega is going to be square root of k over m, and therefore 1 over omega is going to be square root of m over k. Alright, and so when we put that in, I'm just going to bring it down so there's a little wee bit more room. We're going to end up with t equals 2 pi times the square root of m upon k. And there you have it. 